All right, we're finishing up our second full day working with the cabinets. It's going great. So what you can see here is we've got all the cabinets in position. We've got a OSB sheet on the top of all of them, which will receive the stone countertop once we get it. We built these backer boards to receive backsplash, and we also plan to put a little shelf on here for some extra shelving. And we do have upper cabinets sitting over here, but we can't put those on until we've got our stone countertops on. So it'll be a little while before we have those. So, and we'll, um, we'll get the drawers and cabinet doors in a few days. Right now, while we're doing all this work, we don't want them on. And then here you can see the space for the oven. There you can see Dad working in the space for the refrigerator. Dad and Steven spent a lot, the whole day today doing electrical stuff, which is just awesome. There's electrical all over the place, getting ready to have working light switches. Yes. Our first light switch, but it doesn't work yet. It doesn't work yet, but there's the light switch and there's our bathroom sconce. Pretty fun. We've got, on the side of the fridge here, you can see the light box where we're gonna be having our uh, main living area light switches on. And here in the yurt, we've got a few working outlets. Just so much is coming together. We put little, little outlets down here at these windows. So much of electrical work has come together we and and they've done an absolutely amazing job of kind of hiding it away. Wires hidden away, so it just seems like outlets and wires pop out of nowhere. Hey, Dad and Steven are working on lighting in the yurt, and Gary and I are about to do a bunch of work here in the utility room. So everything electrical and plumbing is done behind these walls so that we can insulate, put plywood over the front of it, and finish out this room. So that is what we are about to do. There's some of the insulation, and there's the plywood we're going to use.
Okay, here we are. We just finished that huge work week with Tina's family and so much got done, including this ladder that we just love. The what, do you, what do you kids think? Awesome. Awesome. It's Ow. the best ladder I've ever I had seen before. Nice and chunky. Yeah, it's big warm. chunky ladder. Finishing touches are going to be putting polyurethane on it and we want to do some kind of handle at the top that'll make yeah, so go that finishing going up the top and starting coming down a little easier. Yeah. So we've got that in the back of our mind, but this is so much better than just having a fiberglass ladder in here. <laughs> so that is yeah. huge. And let's, let's show you kind of what it looks like right now. It's, we can basically live in it short of having a heating source, but we'll get to that. Pantry but. cabinets. Pantry cabinets. We have our fridge in, our oven's in, and working. Coffee and maker. So this is just a... OSB. Um, countertop. Top. And we polyurethane it just for a little bit of water seal until we get the actual countertops put in. And we have a quote from a stone company to put granite or quartz or something as our countertop. And we just need to finish that process through. So hopefully we're a few weeks away Let's from that. that. We need handles and knobs Purple. for all the yeah. cabinets, and we have upper cabinets. I'll show you in just a second. A upper cabinet will go here, and an upper cabinet will go here, but we've got to get the countertop first before we set those on top of that. So that's going good. We've kind of got our living area set up. There's the computer where we'll make this video, and here's our little living area. Big thing. Oh, and there's the um, the, upper, the upper cabinets. the upper cabinets. And oh. big things that'll change in the living room is we'll install a wood stove right there and kind of frame the We're living room around that it. Later, right, Daddy? We're, we haven't decided for sure, but I like the idea of putting a couch back there where those upper cabinets are, and then maybe a couch or just a few chairs to wrap around the stove, and the stove will be the centerpiece of the living room. Yeah. And there's the state of the loft. We still need to finish safety railing and stuff up there, but the kids have done a good job of not falling down so far. So that's <laughs> so good. Far. See? Cabinets. The cabinet room gave us cabinets. The bathroom has a working bathroom light. Boop, boop. And one more thing to do is we need a vent in here, and we've got a wire for it. We've got a box for it and we just need to go get a vent and then it'll be a bit of work putting a hole in the side of the yurt and then using flashing and stuff to seal that all up around that vent so that's another thing we've got to do oh and the um the mud room has come along nicely so let's walk in there it's all finished out and trimmed out and we've got the washer and dryer in here, a laundry sink. The water heater is now in here, protected from the outdoors. And then we've got a bench and a shoe shelf here, but sometime in the next year, we definitely want to build custom shelving for this entire room. You know, starting in that corner, we want to have a coat rack plus storage over here shelves here which integrate with a built-in shoe bench with kind of shoe storage under it lots of storage all up here and then around on this wall we can kind of build storage around the appliances so kind of high shelving up here something above the washer dryer here and above the sink so we've got lots of room to improve our storage in here. So that's exciting. This is yeah. going to be a really functional space. Well, and it already is. Yeah. Why is there we, a well, we can do we can do all of our laundry in here. We're kind of we we got to the finish line on everything except a source of heating to live in here, Definitely. which is awesome. And oh, we have hot water. Oddly enough, we're getting this really weird taste of winter right now because I'm sure you've heard the whole west coast of the United States is on fire. Where we are in the Willamette Valley, we are just getting hit with smoke so hard over the last couple of days. And so it just looks like a hazy, foggy day. 
even though it's a summer day at noon about right now and it is really bumming us out but the weather outlook looks good for starting to clear this smoke away and we are very lucky that so far our property is not at any risk of actual fire spreading here right. we're just getting slammed by smoke and so we've been staying a lot inside a lot for the last 24 hours mm -hmm. and the poor animals can't be can't be loving this smoke hi Olaf Olaf is doing so good he has gained full trust to be out and about he'll go chase some turkeys and then come back he'll go to this stream on his own and get a drink and come back he's doing great he is doing great so, hopefully this smoke clears out. I think I'm about to sneeze from it. Yeah, we need to close this door. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. Um, back in the yurt. Back in the yurt. So, so thankful for all the help. You know, Gare has come and worked with us plenty of times now and this was the first time Tina's dad came and he was a serious MVP. Oh my goodness. We got so much done because he came and did electrical non-stop so thank you dad. Uh -huh. yeah. um, yep. So that's where we are. Really excited with how much we got done and of course always on our mind is how much more there is to do. <laughs> So is there anything we want to do in here we didn't cover? We talked about countertop. I guess we should have mentioned specifics. We want to do stone countertop, eight inch stone backsplash of the same material, and then we'll build some kind of wooden shelf that follows the curve and gives us a shelf that we can set stuff on up there. So that'll be really handy. You can see the lighting is in and on, short of, you might see a few uh, lights that aren't on and that's because we're short three LED bulbs and we just need to go get a few more. So. The that, lights are on? Yeah, part of we that love the lights. Part of the big go, kitchen go flip stuff? The, go flip the lights on, off and on a few times. And off? So that's all of them off and all we've got is the dome light there with this smoky day and then on again. And and we've at night it's really cozy and really well lit, so that's kind of the main point of lights, and we're really happy with that. And that's it. Just really hoping this smoke clears out. We've got a lot of work to do outside. It just looks like a total construction yard out there. You know, there's cut up pieces of insulation and wood everywhere, so a lot to clean up and get rid of out there. I've got to bury that entire utility trench. What else do we have to do? Well, and as we move things into the yurt, you know, finalizing where everything goes, we have boxes of kitchen stuff and whatnot. Well, then the shop is gonna be cleared out more and we mm -hmm. can use that for wood storage. Mm -hmm. Like we have a wood storage covered by a tarp right in front of our yurt here. We'd love to get that inside so it's protected and we can use that wood in the future. Yep, yep good point. The shop can turn into a full shop and not a shop kitchen hybrid. So yeah. that's a big thing we'll be doing. And it'll be really cool to have the shop as indoor space to do projects if Jarvis needs to bring the tractor to work on it in there. Yep. We wanna resand some furniture, something like that. It's usable space. Yeah, so a lot of rearranging and getting things in their right place as far as storage goes, getting things tidy, mm -hmm. a lot of that to do. So yeah. that's it. Thank yeah. you very much. We love being in here. It just we do. It's just a functional home now. It feels so, so functional good. and everything so has good. just enough space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a nice little spot. The the main floor of this year is 700 square feet. There's 100ish square feet of loft up there and that <laughs> makes a really big difference for basically being the kids bedroom up there. Yeah, James is up there playing Legos and there's been Legos all over the floor for days on end, yeah. but that's okay. It's their space. Yeah, and it just feels like plenty of space for what we need. So yeah. super happy about yeah. that. Love the yurt. Aria, do you like living in the yurt? Yeah. James, what do you think about living in a yurt? Good. Good. It's the best yurt he's ever seen. All right. I don't know how many yurts he has seen. How many yurt? How many yurts have you seen? Like, well, we've seen yurt. all the yurts at Pacific Yurt. Yeah. No other yurts. So, this is better than every yurt at Pacific Yurts. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. 
that's it. Thanks, Thanks for, for sticking with us. Yes. You will Bye. see, you know, putting in the countertop, all that stuff. We'll show it as mm -hmm. we do it. Thanks. Bye. Bye.